right where the gunfire was exchanged between the officer and that suspect. Masa standing by with the live interview for us. Masa. And so we're trying to just fill in the details and get as much information as possible about what happened before, during, and after. And we want to bring in a witness who saw the immediate aftermath of this shooting, LJ Harness. Yes. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Well, you know, it's kind of a sad day all the way around, but very grateful that our law enforcement officer wasn't more seriously injured. Walk me through exactly where you were in your vehicle and everything that you saw and heard yourself. Yes, I was headed east on Sahara, just passing Jones before Lindell. Law enforcement, uh, motorcycles, police, SUVs passing by me at a high rate of speed with their sirens on. I come up on the scene. Uh, the road wasn't even closed yet. Uh, Metro had their rifles and guns uh, aimed at the suspect in a Jeep Grand Cherokee. The driver's door was open at that time. He was leaning across the console with his feet hanging out. Uh, I saw a law enforcement officer uh, sitting down, laying down at that point. He was injured. Yes, he was. And they were calling out to the suspect at that time, not knowing what his condition was. And it seemed like a, a, a movie going on. I mean, it was happening right then. And what exactly were they saying to the suspect? And at that point, he had already been shot, from your understanding. Correct. They were asking him to uh, exit the car, exit the car. And uh, there was no movement at that time. But to see the professionalism of the Metro, and especially after what has happened in the last couple of years with losing some great Metro officers, um, just very grateful it wasn't any more serious with, for the officer. Now, it's okay if you didn't, but were you able to see just uh, how many shots were fired into that vehicle, or do you have any idea of, like, I really can't say. I wouldn't want to say right now without being sure. But uh, again, there wasn't any movement of the suspect. And from what I, what only thing I know is it looked like he'd probably exit the car to have a confrontation with the law enforcement officer. And maybe after the sh shooting, he might have turned around to get back in his car. And at that point, you're, you know, you're seeing the aftermath right now. And can you of the injured officer you said he was sitting on the side of this road or was he in a police car no no he was off to the side and there was other law enforcement uh, attending to him at that point you know covering their brother and what happened what happened to see them take that injured officer did you see anything else no i had to get back down to uh, my dealership and uh right away i uh, i we turned on in the customer lounge uh channel 13 and we're seeing all the updates and I was very concerned, so I thought I'd stop back down here just to share a little bit of what, what I saw. Thank you so much, Mr. Harness. We really appreciate you taking Thanks. the time. To Our give prayers goes out to the officer's family, too. And that is uh, definitely the feeling out here by many people, just relief and grateful that the officer was not more seriously injured. We're going to continue to stay out here, Jessica and Spencer, and keep you up to date with the very latest information from the scene. For now, Masa Saidi, Channel 13 Action News, live at Sahara and Lindell. Let's take it back to you guys in studio. All right, Masa. Thank